Hi everyone, my name is Previn. I'm going to share a quick preview of PipeDreams 3.0 Builder. For the demo, I'm going to pull some data from the Pokemon API, and then I'll use OpenAI to summarize it and generate an image, and then I'll post a message to Slack. Along the way, I'll highlight some of the great new features of the 3.0 Builder, as well as some of the amazing capabilities already available in PipeDream. The biggest change you'll notice is that we're moving from a notebook format to a canvas. We made this change to set the foundation for looping and branching in workflows. Now, those features aren't included in the current preview, but there are other great features that improve the workflow development experience that we're really excited about. Okay, I'll start my workflow by adding an HTTP trigger. I'll also generate a test event that sends the name of a Pokemon as a query parameter. No matter what trigger you're using, one of the most important steps is to always generate a test event that can help you build your workflow. Next, I'll add a step to make a request to the Pokemon API. Then I'll just copy the URL from the website and enter it in. Next, I need to update the URL and pass the name of the Pokemon I sent in my test event. One of the great features of the 3.0 Builder is the ability to split panes for side-by-side -side editing. Also, the right pane is resizable, so you're no longer limited by the width of a step. This is especially great for developers with large, high-resolution monitors. Next, I'll add a code step to generate a prompt to send to ChatGPT to summarize the Pokemon data I got from the API. I'll just paste in the code so that you don't have to watch me type. Once I get the results, I'll add a step to use a pre-built action to make a request to OpenAI to summarize the Pokemon data. I'll pass the prompt I just exported from the code step. As you can see, it's much faster to switch between steps while editing when using the 3.0 Builder. Next, I'll use Dolly from OpenAI to generate an image of the Pokemon. While we have a pre-built action to do this, I'm selecting the Build Any API Request with OpenAI option to show you how easily you can connect to any API for integrated apps. Just select your connected account and customize the API request. Pipedream will automatically add the authorization headers. It's that simple. Next, I'll use AI to generate a custom Slack action. I'll tell the AI that I want to send a block kit message with text and an image. The AI will then generate the code that defines the form inputs and the run function. I can also ask AI to modify my code. In this case, I want to select the Slack channel from a drop-down menu. So I ask the AI to use an async option for the channel and it updates the code. Next, I'll select a Slack channel and then copy and paste references to the summary and image generated by OpenAI for the Pokemon. Then I can test and check that the message was posted to Slack. One more great 3.0 feature that I want to highlight is the ability to search code and actions. Here, I'll search for steps.trigger and I can easily find all the references across both action inputs as well as code. Next, I'll go ahead and deploy and then I'll send an HTTP event to trigger my workflow with the name of a different Pokemon. I can select the event to inspect my workflow execution, and I can check Slack to confirm the new message was sent. Well, I hope that gives you a good introduction to PipeDreams 3.0 Builder. Please try it out and let us know if you have any feedback. And stay tuned for more on looping and branching. Thanks for your time.